Hello guys, welcome to Creative Corner by Varsha. In today's video, we are going to learn about masking tape and masking fluid. If you are not aware with both the terms, then do watch this video till the end to understand the differences and their usage. In this video, we will see how to use a masking tape and how to use a masking fluid and how they differ from each other. So let's get started. First, I'm taking the masking tape. So this is the masking tape and you have to open it like a normal tape. This is mostly used by artists to create a perfect white frame or border around their painting or drawing or this is also used for creating patterns. You just have to apply it around your paper like you want four perfect corners so you have to apply it on all the four sides of your paper and then you have to do your painting and when you will remove your tape from the side you will get a paper like this let me show you an example something like this so i have created this border white border with the use of masking tape i will create one in front of you also to show you how to do this we have substitute of masking tape that is this washi tape the colorful tapes that you see here these are called washi tapes and these are also used for the same purpose that is creating borders or creating patterns these are available in beautiful colors and prints and they are a bit expensive than the masking tape but they both do the same work so it's up to you what do you want to use if you are using a washi tape or masking tape then first apply it on your table and then peel it off and then apply it on your paper we do this to remove the extra glue from the tape so that when you apply it on your paper your paper won't come out masking tapes and washi tapes are available in various sizes like i have this two masking tapes and in washi tapes also i have three sizes so you can easily create these straight lines or patterns with this masking or washi tape but if i want to create a circle or a heart shape then it will be quite difficult to create those shape using the masking tape so for that purpose we use masking fluid it is very easy to use this you have to take your brush and dip it in the masking fluid and apply it on your paper if you want to buy this i will share the link in the description box now I am going to use both masking tape and masking fluid. First I am taking the masking tape and I will apply it on the table to remove the extra glue. Now we will peel it off and apply it on our paper. We will do the same thing again. Applying the masking tape on the second side. We will do the same thing for the third and fourth side of the paper. Now I have second piece of paper and I am going to apply the masking tape here also because I want this paper to stay on its place. Now it's time to use the masking fluid. So I will take my round brush, dip your brush in the masking fluid and apply it on your paper. I am going to create heart shapes here. Once you are done with the masking fluid, you need to let it dry for 2-5 to five minutes and then you can apply paint over it. Now I am quickly going to create the backgrounds here. Just doing the flat wash here. Again we need to let it dry and then we have to remove the masking tape and masking fluid. So I have waited for 5 minutes and I am removing the masking tape here. You can see that when we are peeling the tape off, the paper is not coming out. This is because of the technique that we have used. So here we got the perfect border on all four sides. Have a look at this. Now it's time to remove the masking fluid. The easiest way to remove this is to use an eraser and rub it over the masking fluid or you can also peel it off with your finger. But the easiest way is to use an eraser. Now I will remove the tape from the side. And we got the heart shapes here using the masking fluid. So you can see both are used for different purpose. So I hope you find this video informative about the masking tape and masking fluid. If you have any other doubt, then you can ask me in the comment section. I would love to answer that. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.